Hey everybody, it's Chris. Welcome back to another video. Today I have for you the results to my blood test. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back one, two videos, check that one out where I go into detail about why I'm on the no sugar, no oil, no salt, no other thing diet. I'll also link it below. So check that one out if you haven't already and then come back to this video. So to recap, I have been on this strict diet for about a month and a half now. After one month of doing it, I went and got my blood tested to see if it made any kind of change in my cholesterol. It was a little bit higher than I wanted it to be. Still not really out of control. It's still within the near optimal range, but at the border of that. So I wanted to do something that I could do to control my cholesterol opposed to going on medication. And I have here the results to the last year of get, getting tested. So I went and got tested four times and I did different things in my diet and then I got tested the most recently for the Dr. Esselstyn diet that I've been on. So I'm just gonna go over the first one. So this is last August, I first went to the doctor and I went and got tested and the results came back on September 14th, 2017 my overall cholesterol was still within the good range. They say it's supposed to be under 200. Mine was 181. My triglycerides were 101. My HDL, which is my good cholesterol, was 38. That could have been a little bit higher. My LDL, which is my bad cholesterol, was a little bit high at 123. So after that, I decided to take oil out of my diet as far as cooking with oil. So I, I didn't stop eating foods that had oil in it and you'd be amazed. Look at all the ingredients of any kind of food that's not whole food and you'll see, you'll likely see oil in it. So I stopped cooking with oil. I stopped using olive oil, canola oil, coconut oil. I, I just completely cut that out of adding to my diet. And I did everything else as I was doing. And I went back and I got my test on November 21st, 2017. My cholesterol, my overall cholesterol came back exactly the same at 181. My triglycerides came back at 153, so they went up to 153 from 101. My HDL, which was my good cholesterol, went down a little bit to 35, so I needed to get that up a little bit higher. And my LDL cholesterol, which is my bad cholesterol, went down to 115. So I was showing a tiny bit of progress with the LDL. So I decided to continue to eat healthy and the doctor said you should do some more exercise and I'm like I exercise every day he's like well what kind of exercise are you doing like weights and that kind of thing or are you doing cardio you need to do cardio so I started running more and I went back looks like a day after my birthday which is 126 2018 and my overall cholesterol actually went up to 192 that's the highest I've seen it my triglycerides went down a little bit to 121 from 153. My HDL, which is my good cholesterol, went up to 38. So that was a little bit of progress, but still needed to go a little bit higher. And my bad cholesterol, my LDL, went up to 130, which is the worst it's been. Okay, so now what do I do? My cholesterol is not acceptable, and I don't want to take medication. So I ended up eating mostly whole foods, with the exception of when I was out of town and I went to a few restaurants. But other than that, I was eating all whole foods, and I was making my own salads, and I was using a lot of avocado, and a lot of nuts and cashews and stuff like that for dressings, all whole foods, trying to be healthy, taking the oil out, and continuing with the cardio, and then three months later, at 426 April 26 of this year I went back and my overall cholesterol was 185 it went down a little bit my triglycerides dropped significantly down to hundred my HDL my good cholesterol went down to 36 I don't know I couldn't really couldn't do anything with that and then my LDL my bad cholesterol went down one point to 129 which is basically the same and so nothing really happened there and I left the doctor's office feeling really confused that you know I just spent three months eating very healthy and what I thought was very healthy and nothing happened. So I was kind of under the impression that maybe it's not my diet, maybe my diet, maybe I'm doing everything I can for my diet and my exercise and maybe I'm just predisposed to have higher cholesterol. Maybe that was just something unique about me, I had higher cholesterol, I don't know. I wanted to rule diet out 100% that it was strongly 
um, affecting my diet because they say that your cholesterol comes 60% from your liver, from your body, and 40% from diet. So I did a little research and I decided to go on Dr. Esselstyn's strict all whole food plant-based diet. And Dr. Esselstyn, as you all know, is a, is a renowned heart doctor and I can't eat any salt, oil, sugar, white rice, white flour, and on top of that, I can't eat avocado, and I can't eat nuts. So those were the two things, high in saturated fat, that I decided that I took out of the diet. And for an entire month, I was strict to this diet, like so strict that it was, it was not fun at times. I mean, I went out to Los Angeles at the vegan YouTube house, and everybody was eating delicious foods, and I stuck with my bland food. And then we went to Eat Drink Vegan, which is, you know, some of you know, it's the, the biggest vegan event around with all this delicious comfort foods and I, and I couldn't eat anything there either. I was on a mission and I had a goal and I had to stick to this diet. So when I got back from California, I went and got blood tested. That was about three weeks ago. Let's just go over the results after one month uh, of being on this diet because I know a lot of you have been following me and are in the same boat and want to know if there's anything you can do besides resort to medication or if it's something that we just, you know, there's there's really nothing that diet's going to do for. So let's find out what the results are. June 2nd of this year, my overall cholesterol went from 185 down to 142, well within the good range. My triglycerides went from 101, or no, 100, down to 88, the best I've had it. My HDL cholesterol pretty much stayed the same at 35. The doctor said that's not an issue because the most important thing is my LDL, my bad cholesterol, went from 129 to 89, well within the good. My cholesterol is now perfect. And that was from one month on the Dr. Esselstyn diet. I highly suggest trying this and sticking with it to a T if you have really bad cholesterol to see if it can help you out. My sister is also a vegan. She's a lot newer of a vegan, but she's been a vegan now for a little while and she has really high cholesterol. I told her about what I did and she is now trying it herself. Hopefully it lowers her cholesterol and she can show those results to her doctor. Now, when I showed these results, well, actually, when my doctor showed the results to me, he had a big smile on his face. He's like, you did it. And I'm like, wow, I can't believe the results. Like, I kind of went in there thinking that there was nothing gonna happen there, but it totally worked. But I didn't know whether to be happy or not because, I mean, I know that if that did the job, then that means I can't go back to eating any of the delicious foods that I loved. But I was kind of like venting my frustrations. I was like, yeah, I did it. I, I stayed strict to this diet and I, and I didn't eat this and I didn't eat that and this is all I ate was this, 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 and this. And uh, you know, it was a Dr. Esselstyn day. He's like, oh, you're crazy. Oh, he's crazy. I'm like, well, I crazy? Like, look what he, his advice, look what it did for me. I didn't have to take medication and look what I did. I lowered all of my cholesterol charts. I feel like he tried to compare it. He said something about you know comparing it to like the Atkins diet and that there is no diet that is scientifically proven to be better than other diets, which I didn't argue with him on that, um, but uh, I, I definitely disagree. I feel like the, a proper plant-based vegan diet is superior to the, the other diets out there. And this right here is proof, along with the rest of my blood test, if you check that out last year, um, I have, I'm in perfect health right now. And it's because of, it's because of diet, it's because of uh, lifestyle and routine. He wanted to learn a little bit more about Dr. Esselstyn, so he did a little Google search. And yes, this is how you portray Google search. And he looked him up and saw all of his achievements. For those of you who know Dr. Osselstein, you know he's got a ton of credentials, a ton of achievements, uh, such as, you know, he's a Yale graduate, he's a, he's a PhD, he's a doctor. Uh, he was head of the Cleveland Clinic, best heart hospital around. And he's even a gold Olympian champion, a gold Olympic champion. So he's got a lot of, uh, credentials under not that the gold medal has anything to do with health or anything like that I'm just saying he's 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 very decorated person over his over his lifetime and he's in his 80s now and he follows his diet and he's been doing so since I think the 80s he's I think he started in like 84 or something and he started doing trials and stuff and, and, and testing in the in the early 90s so 
Uh, he knows what he's doing. He's doing something right. My doctor is, is he's very knowledgeable, but he, he didn't know about this and he starts reading it and, he, and he's looking down at the results. I mean, he's very scientific, so the results speak for themselves and I told him what I did. I didn't take medication like he thought I was gonna have to do and I just did it with diet and hopefully maybe he can start suggesting diet changes to some of his patients rather than medicine all the time or you know just eating uh, you know I heard in the the waiting room when I was there there was somebody that they were on the phone with one of the patients who I don't know the details but it sounded like they were sick or, or out of surgery or they had some kind of disease or something and uh, the receptionist was saying well the doctor says you should eat you know foods with, with like no little to no fiber so you want to eat a lot, a lot of meat a lot of dairy and I'm like cringing hearing this I wanted to grab the phone and say watch forks over knives and thank me later bye I don't know hopefully he sees something there and does a little more research he was very inquisitive about it and he seemed genuinely interested in what i was doing so hopefully that does something i did recommend a couple documentaries and i did tell him to watch dr esselstyn's ted talk and stuff like that so he said he was going to do that and, and he'd be happy to check it out so hopefully that was the case and i've since stayed true to the diet for the most part. I'm a little bit more lenient now. I did zero salt the entire month and now I'm, I've got miso in my diet and, and, uh, and I'm using a little more sodium than I normally did just to give that, that taste. I don't think sodium was my problem. Sodium may have effects on you know water weight. I, I did lose between 19 and 20 pounds by doing this. I still eat a lot and I still exercise and I feel great. I'm not emaciated or anything like that. For the most part, I'm sticking to the diet. I really have no desire to eat the junk food, but I do want to be a little bit more lenient. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out there and give you guys some suggestions or maybe something that you can try to get your cholesterol down or to, to be more healthy than you are. Uh, just kind of feeling like let down like I was, like kind of hopeless, like what can I do until I found this and, and it worked within one month. I think that's all I have for this video. Remember, I love all of you guys' suggestions. Uh, you guys were overwhelming with them in the last video and I went through like all of them. I read all of them. I responded to as many as I could and I think there was like over 500 of them at the time. I'd like to hear anybody else's story out there and if I helped anybody with this information or if you're gonna try it then then that's great. Hopefully you get your cholesterol under control and uh, don't be afraid to share this video for me. Give me that thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the little bell so you get notifications and you don't miss my videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Right Indy? Go!